What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Wealth Not Wait. I am your host, as always, Joe Sequeeza, and on today's episode of Motivational Money, we're doing another top five health misconceptions. Now, before we get into it, I want to make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. It really lets me know that you appreciate what I'm doing, and I'll keep doing it. You know, you like it? I'm going to keep doing it. Great. You know, it's a win-win. So, we'll just jump right into it in the top five health misconceptions. Now, remember, this is in no particular order, but we're going to start off with number one, of course. So, number one is that being healthy and eating the right foods is extremely fucking expensive. This is just plain not true. It's not. I did a video and you guys should go check it out after this video. You had to buy a week's worth of food for somebody like me for under $40. Now this had more food than probably I can eat two in a week. I mean not can, but should eat in a week. And it's probably enough for at least two of me. That's pretty good. You could feed two of me for a week under 40 bucks. That's great. It's a lot of buying the right food. You're not going out and buying the CBD fucking super kale, you know, Adkins oils or the fucking super injection, you know, supernatural whole foods type bullshit. Okay, that's not, you know, you're not buying any of those, you know, special supplements or weed fucking health foods or tomatoes that are green. You're not buying anything like that, okay? You're buying just good natural foods. Just go pick up a normal, nice, ripe looking tomato, okay? You go and get, you know, some lettuce, some chicken, turkey bacon, whatever you want. You just has to be good natural food. Now, fruits and stuff can get up there a little bit. You gotta manage it. It's, it's an experience. You gotta go through and go, okay, here's how much this is, here's how much that is. But like a pack of turkey bacon is like two bucks. Okay, you know, some vegetables, you make a whole salad for a dollar or less. You know, it's really good. And the same thing with a pack of chicken. A pack of chicken for like, you know, five pounds, it's like 10 bucks. It's great. A carton of eggs, a dollar. And that's at least, you know, four days worth of breakfast for me. Well, for bread, four bucks, it's really good and it's really simple to do. You just have to know what you're buying. And in cutting out a lot of sugar and unhealthy snack foods, you'd be, instead of saying, oh, hey, let me get two boxes of cookies because I know I'm eating it every day for dessert, you'll say, let me get one box of cookies and eat, you know, once a week or every couple of days. And it lasts you a week or a couple of weeks. So then instead of spending, you know, $25 in junk food, you're only spending five to 10. And then the rest of that money can go through your healthy food and you're either making out better than you were before and you're actually saving money or you're spending about the same amount of money, but now you're getting healthier and better foods for you. It's just the name of the game. You just got to sit there and look through and find the right foods for you. Second of all, it's that fat weighs the same amount as muscle. Now, this is 100% not true because muscle is a lot denser than fat. And by what I mean, I'm going to see if I can find a picture. There's a picture of about five pounds of fat. It's about this big. It's five pounds of muscle. It's about this big. It's a lot denser. <laughs> and the mass is a lot different for the weight and value. So a lot of people will work out and you know, they'll be building muscle mass and they'll be like, well, I'm actually gaining weight or I'm still losing weight, but I'm not losing it at the rate I would expect. What's up? Well, you're doing the right things. You're losing unhealthy body fat, but you're gaining muscle. And muscle mass is actually heavier than fat. So what I recommend is to get a scale. It doesn't have to be really expensive. I know there's like $500 ones out there, so fuck that bullshit. I got mine for like 30, 40 bucks. Go on Amazon, find a reputable scale. One that tells you your body fat percentage. Step on, it'll tell you your weight, it'll tell you your muscle weight, your body fat percentage, especially when you can track from your phone, it gives you a whole little graph and you go, oh, okay, I'm doing good or you know, I need to adjust this, I know I'm doing this and this is giving me a good result, I need to keep doing it. So you can sit there and go, okay, here's how much muscle mass I'm gaining, oh, I'm gaining more muscle mass and my body fat percentage is going down even though my, my weight may be going up, it just means that I'm losing the unhealthy body fat and I'm gaining healthy muscle mass, that's all that means. Third is that this is a young person's game. This is very much not true. Anytime I talk to somebody who's a little older, they go, oh, we have a great metabolism. I wish I could do that back in the day, this, back in the day, that. When you're older, you could do it too. Now, I mentioned in the book, it's significantly difficult to get back into shape or get into shape if you're never in shape when you get older. It's a lot tougher because your you know, body's a lot different then. But if you were in shape at one point, it's a little easier than some who have never been in shape. But especially when you're older, it's important to watch what you eat in some regard. Now, I'm not saying don't go out and have that glass of wine or a piece of cake and live the, you know, the rest of your, li your life you know, uh, the way you want and enjoy it. But you also have to watch what you eat because too much of a good thing is, well, too much of a good thing. You know, you could end up killing yourself and go, hey, my arteries are clogged and I shaved you know, eight years off my life all because I didn't want to eat cake every one, you know, once in a while and I wanted to eat it every day. You know, I know people say, oh, I'm here for a good time, not for a long time. Well, guess what? You can do both. Just don't be stupid. That's basically the way it is. It's now, again, it's significantly harder for older people to get into shape, but just watch me eat, eat natural foods. is going to help your body a lot better, and you'll feel a lot better, and you'll be able to go out and try new things, enjoy life a little more. I know that I, there were a lot of things I'd be like, I ain't having that diet bullshit until I went on a diet, and I started reasoning, and I was like, wow, this is really good. This is, this is really great stuff. I wish I would have tried this sooner. Okay, you could still enjoy life, but also not take it to the extreme. 
Fourth is that this is extremely difficult to diet. It is not extremely difficult, okay? It's not impossible by any means. Is it hard work and sometimes a challenge? Yes, absolutely. You know, it's a lot of hard work and understanding, but it's also a lot of experience. You know, dad was one of the most stubborn people I've ever met in my life. I love him, you know, God bless him, but he is very stubborn with things. And when I taught him how to diet, it was maybe within a week or two, he picked it up and he understood. You know, after about a month of doing it, consistently doing it, you're gonna know what to do and it's not gonna kill you. Okay, you're just gonna learn and it's an experience. Okay, I know I could kind of have this. You're not gonna be like, this is 13.8 calories and I could do this by, you know, this grams of carbs. You may not be doing that, but you'll know what's going on. You'll be like, well, I can't have this, but I know I can have that. I'm feeling a little tired. Well, probably because I didn't have enough a complex carbs today. Let me check. Yep, sure enough. Yeah, I didn't have enough complex carbs. It's a lot of trial and a lot of error, but it's also knowing what you're doing. It's being like, okay, I know I can have this and here's the foods that have this nutrition. Simple Google search, and like I said, after a week or two of really you know, putting your nose to the grind and trying to understand, you'll pick it up. It's not super difficult. It is hard work and you do have to apply yourself to it, especially when you're exercising and doing stuff and keeping yourself consistent. You know, it's, it's a bit of a challenge sometimes, especially for some people more than others, but it's not impossible by any means. And lastly is that when you're on a diet, you need to starve. Everybody's like, oh, I like food too much. I like this. Listen, I love fucking food and I love to eat. Trust me, hand to God, trust me, I know, and I love to eat myself. You don't have to starve yourself, it's just eating the right foods. Every morning for breakfast, I have three eggs, I have whole grain, whole wheat toast, I have turkey bacon. I go overboard with breakfast, delicious, and it's only like 400 calories and it gives me my, need, my needed nutrients to start and handle my day. Same thing with my lunch and my dinner. I am very satisfied with the food I eat. You can eat a whole bowl of salad for like this much, obviously, without a you know, gallon of salad dressing. But eat a whole bowl of salad and not have it really affect you. It's just eating the right stuff. You can eat a chicken sandwich and feel pretty satisfied versus eating a greasy cheeseburger. One's gonna help you more than the other. It's plain and simple. It's just eating the right amount of food of the right food. It's not going overboard because you know a burger and some fries can fuck you up for half the day. That's half your day's you know calories and nutrients and unhealthy fats and whatnot in just one you know one meal. Or you could have that and a lot healthier version of that, and lot, well, aside from those unhealthy fats and whatnot, and a couple chicken sandwiches and some salads and whatnot, and you can really stretch it and get more bang for your buck. And more, get more bang for your buck. It's just eating the right foods and the right amount of food for you. It's just something you gotta figure it out. So that's our top five health misconceptions. I hope this motivates you guys to get out there and you know really start to look at the things that you're doing and say, wow, maybe I didn't. I didn't know that or I thought this was true. You know, now I know and this could progress me forward in my health journey. I want everybody to be able to look in the mirror and like the person looking back at them. That's what it is. It is self-love and gratitude. And that's the name of the game because then you live longer and then you get to enjoy that longer life a lot more as well. So I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and peace out.